Hi folks, it's Darren here, and today I'd like to talk about our plans for the Burrow Crane. Lionel first introduced the Burrow Crane in the years 1956 and 1957 with the car number 3360. Then in 1988, Lionel reintroduced the Burrow Crane with the car number 6-18402. Uh, the new version had a silver boom instead of a yellow boom and the newer version included the number 18402 on the side of the cab instead of the original 3360. Then in 2006, Lionel again came out with the Burrow Crane. This time it was a near replica of the original. It included a yellow boom and the numbering on the side of the car was 3360. However, the car is listed in the catalogs as 6-28414. Uh, since that time, they've also come out with burrow cranes with under different road heralds. The crane that I plan on using is the 1988 version, the 6-18402, for no other reason than that's what I have on hand. As far as I know, all of the burrow cranes that Lionel has made to date are functionally equivalent to one another. The burrow crane has the following features non-operating couplers, the ability to move forward in reverse, the direction of travel is changed by a switch on the car, not by any unit. You can raise and lower the boom by hand only. It has a rotating cab that will automatically reverse directions by way of a switch on the side of the car. And you can lower and raise the block and hook via switch on the car. It's a non-operating coupler. The other one's up front. Forward and reverse switch. It's right here on the side. Raise and lower the boom by hand. rotates. It's enabled by this switch here. And you can raise and lower the block and hook. So before we move on, I'd like to quickly check to make sure I actually have a working burrow crane. What I'd like to see in the burrow crane for the ultimate train set are the following features. I'd like to have electronically operating couplers and I'd like to control them via the electronic control unit. I'd like the ability to change forward and reverse directions and I'd like to do this by installing an E-unit. I'd like to raise and lower the boom electronically once again with the electronic control unit. I'd like to rotate the cab clockwise and counterclockwise using the electronic control unit. And finally, I'd like to raise and lower the block and hook using the electronic control unit. So this is our disassembled and partially reassembled burrow crane. 
This will be my platform for determining how to modify the crane. The current state of the car is follows. The cab has been removed. The cab drive lever is disconnected, so we currently cannot control the clutch that distinguishes between the cab rotation operation and the block and hook assembly operation. The couplers have been removed. The motor has been reattached to the frame of the car. Amazingly, still works in both directions and connects to the main gear shaft. Uh, the clutch for the main gear shaft that distinguishes between the car forward and reverse operation and the crane operations is still intact and works. And this marks the beginning of our burrow crane modifications.